Rast Practical Science. I'm, I'm Dr Cairns and today we're going to be doing food chains and webs. This picture contains four different organisms. Can you spot all four organisms? I'll give you 10 seconds to do this. OK, so we have the caterpillar. We also have the bird. We have the cat. And the last one that we have is the tree. You could also count grass, I suppose. Before we look closer at food chains and webs, what I want to talk about first and webs what I want to talk about first is key terminology, some key words that we'll need to use to be able to describe food chains and webs. So firstly, let's look at the word producer. A producer is an organism that does not eat other animals, but instead makes its own food from the sun. It's involved in a very important process called photosynthesis. We also have organisms that can be predators and predators are animals which hunt and eat other animals. We can have prey organisms as well. These are animals that are hunted and eaten by these predators. And finally, we can also have consumers. Consumers cover a lot of different organisms and all they describe is an animal that eats or consumes other animals or plants. The first organism in our food chain is the leaf. Now a leaf is what we call a producer, an organism that does not eat other animals but makes its own food organism that does not eat other animals but makes its own food from the sun. It's involved in that very important process called photosynthesis and it's actually chloroplasts within the leaf cells that help the producer synthesize its food from the sun. Next in the food chain you see the caterpillar. Now the caterpillar falls into two categories. It is a consumer because it is an animal that eats or consumes other animals and plants as it can eat the leaves on the trees and it is also prey because it is an animal that is hunted and eaten by the predator. Can you remember which predator eats the caterpillar? Yes, that's right, it's the bird. So the bird comes under three different keywords. Again, it is a consumer because it eats the caterpillar. It is a predator because again, it hunts the caterpillar. But it is also prey because there is something else in the food chain that can eat the bird. The last organism in the food chain is the cat. The cat is classed as a predator because it can hunt and eat the bird. For the same reason, it is also a consumer. So let's have a look and see how these animals fit into a food chain. So in this food chain, we started off with the leaf. The leaf is the producer. It takes its energy from the sun. What eats the producer? Well, in this food chain, it's the caterpillar. The caterpillar is then eaten by the bird and the bird is eaten by the cat. Now you might be wondering why are the arrows pointing from the leaf to the caterpillar 
to the bird. Wondering why are the arrows pointing from the leaf to the caterpillar to the bird to then the cat if the caterpillar eats the leaf surely the arrow should be the other way you'd be right in thinking that however those arrows do not represent what is eaten by what what they actually represent is the transfer of energy from one organism to the next so instead of thinking that the caterpillar eats the leaf think about it as the energy is being transferred from the leaf to the caterpillar to the bird and then to the cat right so now that we have that in our heads let's have a look at something a little bit more challenging in this example we have a food web and all a food web is is lots of food chains linked together can you see the producers the prey the consumers and the predators in this example i'll give you 10 seconds to have a look Right, so you may have guessed that your producers are the acer tree and the grass. You may have guessed that the prey in this food web is the giraffe, it's also the impala, and it's also the zebra. Did you also see that the cheetah and the leopard could also be prey for the lion? All of the animals in this food web are consumers because they eat other animals or plants. Can you spot the predators? If we look from the top down, you can see that the lion is a predator and that the cheetah and the leopard are also predators. Right, now your turn. Thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon. Bye.